Hi everyone, and welcome in this new session. So today we will speak about code quality. But what, why is it important to have a code base with a good quality? But just imagine uh, if we compare a code base, so your source code with a bedroom, it's okay, you live in it, usually it will be a mess, it's okay, but what happens if someone else come and use your bedroom? Well, that will be complicated. And you can really compare your code base with uh, a bedroom in a hotel. So this is very basic, standard, but it's clean. And we are okay, we understand every, where everything goes and it's smooth. And this is exactly what we want to achieve with code and source code. So how do you make this happen? So there will be, I will speak about different things in different videos. Today I will speak about Lint and in particular Linter tools. So Lint is very, something we've been using for edges and it's very good because it will be tools that we will run and that will uh, make a lot of checks on your source code and it will raise an issue uh, if we are not compliant with uh, this set of standards. So it's something I wanted to share with you because I just put it in place in your repository and I discovered very recently a very interesting tool because by the past if you wanted to lint, for example, JavaScript, you needed to find something to lint JavaScript. And if you wanted to lint, for example, Markdown, you needed yet another tool. And usually these tools doesn't come like this. You need to install a lot of packages and everything. But good news is we've got Megalinter for us. So Megalinter is an open source project created by, by a wonderful uh, person, but uh, it's open source. So we can see it's with no limitation, it's free, no license. You can still donate if you think the, the tool is good for you, but everything obviously is in, in GitHub. And there is a huge documentation, very interesting. And really, I have been amazed by this tool. So this is wanted, I wanted really to share with you very easily how you can achieve this. So a tool, a very good, uh, very good documentation. So I, if you are Testing it, please go see the documentation and you will find everything. But just how to see in, in action. So I'm still working on Obi Farm end to end testing repository. Okay. But we are not talking about uh, testing here. We are talking about quality because we are a bunch of developers working on the same code and we need to set some standards. So we are following best practices and in particular, we are making sure the, the code is clean. So how to do this? As usual, it will be done by the uh, continuous integration pipeline, which is done here by uh, <coughs> a GitHub action workflow called CI. And this will run every time there is a change in the main branch and also on, on pull request. Like for example, for this pull request here that I did quite recently, you can see it has been uh, validated against the CI and in particular uh, inside there were, there were lint checks. So it's very good for me because I know for a fact that my code, that what I did in terms of changes, uh, that is compliant with the standards that we have inside the team. So very, very interesting. So, okay, you see the results and you can see uh, there are some green and, and red checks, but what happens if it fails? So when it happens, uh, you will see something like this. You can go inside and there will be, oh, I've got an issue with my lint stage. And what is amazing with this tool, really, well, there are a lot of interesting things. First thing, it will check automatically uh, with almost everything in your code base. So you don't have to think about it, mainly. Uh, if you got some JavaScript, you will check the JavaScript. And if you have some Markdown, you check the Markdown. If you have some YAML file, it will check the YAML. So amazing because you don't have to care. You just have to take only this tool and it will lint everything. And in particular, what is interesting also, you don't have to care how to install it because it will use a, a container image. So it's great <laughs> because everything is set inside. And on top of this, there is an action in GitHub. So very, very easy to, to integrate. And the output is amazing because here you can see very clearly, very easily in green, obviously it's okay. In red, <laughs> it's not okay. And I can see here that for the markdown, I had an issue. In fact, I did rename a file, but I forgot to update the readme and we can see it inside. So it doesn't seem like a big thing, but it's huge because even if for documentation 
files, we are able to make some checks. And for example, for this one, I had a link that was invalid. So it's great because it validated during the CI phase. And here we can see the other issue I had. And globally, what was checked? So you can see we check the JSON, we check any kind of, of files. Basically, we check also potentially with leaks, like secret leaks. Very interesting, like spell, uh, YAML. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, really. If you wanted to do this, uh, without Meganinter, it will take a lot of time, a lot of energy to, to cover everything. So here you got the result, but how to make this happen? To make this happen, uh, you will have to run. Uh, so it's based on configuration, but start, we will use uh, something called an action in, in GitHub, but you can do exactly the same with GitLab and with any other CI. It will be the same logic. It's just easier with GitHub and potentially with GitLab because it has additionally something you can integrate. So here in my pipeline, I've got one step only. So you can see how easy it is. So I'm saying, okay, I'm using uh, this section, uh, which is uh, published by, uh, by a company, but it's really open source and everything. It's just good also to know that there is a company behind the project. And here, okay, I'm saying, okay, I'm using Meganinter. And here, I just have some um, configuration. So basically, on a pull request, I will only check the new code. Uh, but when it's done directly on the branch, I will check everything. So it's kind of interesting because when we are on a pull request on a branch, we will just want to check the, the different changes, what happened on this particular branch. And just some information additionally, but this is just because the tool will query Git to know the changes. But basically, you just have you could just use it like this; it will be okay. But once you put it in place, you may have a lot of issues. And for this, it's very easy because there will be one file, one only file you have to configure, and everything is well documented in the website. So really, you should have a try. And here you can see, for example, I disabled. Uh, uh, a particular uh, check that I need to work with the team. So I did and I put it <laughs> a comment on it. So we will come back on it, but still I can uh, disable it so we can still move on and have at least a first level of lint uh, on my repository. I'll, I've also disabled some linters, but so you can see very easy. And then I'm able to configure every uh, kind of um, check that are done. And for this, it's very well documented. Uh, you will say, okay, I want to check something on TypeScript. And I go there and I can see, okay, there are three linters available. For me, I'm using US lint. And it's very straightforward. I've done it, so I've discovered this tool really this week. So I put it in action this week. And it took me only a matter of a few hours to be able to configure everything, thanks to the documentation. So this is a great tool. Really, I encourage you to go on this path if you have some a good quality for your code base, uh, you will be happy of yourself in the future, uh, for sure. You will, you will be thankful for yourself to uh, put the extra energy uh, to have some really good code base. And also, you will be able to welcome others to contribute to the code base. And on top of this, I'm pretty sure you will also maybe prevent you from having big issues in production because you missed something. So really go for the quality, for continuous integration, and for Megan Inter. So I really hope you enjoyed it. I will put the link in the comments. And as usual, uh, please please subscribe if you want this kind of uh, video. It's really good for me uh, to, to keep going. And also ask any comments uh, on, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, or whatever.